Budapest, soon to become the first European host of a Chinese university. Under the plans, this wasteland outside the city will soon become a branch of the Shanghai-based Fudan University. Hungary says it will raise education standards, offer courses to 6,000 students and bring Chinese investment and research to the country. For China, it's a significant milestone, says analyst Steve Sang. Now they are exporting a Chinese university branch on European soil, a member of the European Union. Um, this is, I think, tremendously important from their perspective in how it shows that China has risen. Two years ago, Hungary's Central European University, backed by Hungarian-born US-based financier George Soros, was effectively forced out of the country through changes to the education law. Hungary's government accuses Soros of political interference, which he denies. The mayor of Budapest, a member of the political opposition, says Hungarians are being betrayed. Let's put the two next to each other. There was something which has offered an open education, did not cost a penny for Hungarian taxpayers, was a well-established university in Hungary, and was exiled. And now the government brings in another one, which represents the ideology of the Communist Party and costs the Hungarian taxpayers billions. Leaked government documents estimate the cost at $1.8 billion, more than Hungary spent on its entire higher education system in 2019. Most of the funding will come from a Chinese bank loan, and construction will be carried out using mostly Chinese materials and labor. Fudan ranks among the top 100 universities in the world. Its expansion into Europe is part of Beijing's efforts to control the narrative on China, according to Tsang. When we are dealing with the humanities and social sciences side of the uh, curriculum, it is clear that the Communist Party will keep control of it. It was only in the last two years that the, the Fudan University changed clearly um, its instructions on its relationship with the party state, now clearly declaring that its first mission is not to uphold academic integrity, but to follow the leadership of the party. In a statement to VOA, the Hungarian government said that Fudan is one of the best universities in the world that will not be engaged in ideological education, but will provide economic courses. The U.S. Embassy in Budapest has released a statement expressing its concerns, given, in its words, Beijing's proven track record of using academic institutions to advance a malign influence agenda and stifle intellectual freedom. The university campus is expected to be built by 2024. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.